Good evening, Tenzin Olzum. You are Miss Tibet 2010. Now you are living in France. And I'm happy and I'm very glad to see you here uh, today. Uh, can you say something about yourself? Um, I'm Tenzin Olzum. Uh, I was born in India in exile. And um, I participated and won the Miss Tibet title in the year 2010. And I'm here in France since few months, and right now I'm learning a French. How you can describe what is going on in Tibet right now? Um, Tibet right now, um, I think they have no basic human rights. So first of all, I will talk about human rights in Tibet, and. Um, Tibetans in Tibet, uh, they don't have basic human rights like uh, they have no freedom of speech, freedom of uh, practicing religion and culture, uh, freedom of um, practicing and developing Tibetan language and education. Uh, they don't have civil and political rights. Um, they, like, they have no rights to protest even Peaceful demonstrations are condemned. Um, simply um, carrying a Tibetan flag is condemned. And even they can't keep the portrait of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, which means everything is controlled under the Chinese government. And what's happening right now concerning human rights in Tibet is really sad. We see now very often pictures of self-immolated Tibetans. Mm. Uh, it is very difficult to see. How do you feel about this? Uh, since Chinese occupation of Tibet in 1950s, Tibetans are living under constant fear, pressure and frustration. Until now, more than 90 Tibetans, nuns, Mothers, uh, students, artists, writers, and farmers have self immolated themselves uh, for the cause of Tibet and its people. So um, it's really, really sad. And um, there are two principal reasons behind such acts of self immolation. Firstly, they are demanding freedom and human rights in Tibet. Secondly, they are demanding His Holiness the Dalai Lama to return back in Tibet in his own homeland. And what is your message for those inside Tibetan people? Uh, first of all, I would like to say Tashi Delek, and I salute their courage and sacrifice they showed to Tibet and its people. And I would like to tell them, please uh, don't lose courage, believe in truth, believe in His Holiness, and um, because like Tibetan cause is something real and fact that no one can change it, we Tibetans in exile, we are doing our best to find solution to Tibet's problem. And uh, with all my prayers, I would like to tell them their wishes will be fulfilled one day, their dreams will be achieved one day, and His Holiness the Dalai Lama will definitely return to Tibet one day. Thank you.